Evening. <laughs> you well? Good, 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 good. So, hello. My name is Swag Roberts, and uh, I'm a dad. <laughs> I'm not the best dad in the world, but I do the best I can under the circumstances. You know. I've got loads of kids. Got loads of kids. Yeah. Loads. <laughs> I've got big kids, little kids. I've even got a cardboard box. <laughs> He's adopted. He didn't look anything like me. <laughs> He's got big felt tip eyes. You know. <laughs> yeah, I've got Nicole. She's uh, 27. I've got Josh, 20. And then I thought, when I was 48, I thought to myself, what can I do to enrich my life? What can I do? Mortgage nearly paid, 48, going into retirement, you know, thinking about it anyway. So I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll get divorced. <laughs> get with a younger woman and have another kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm living the fucking dream. <laughs> Fifty-seven, I'm still on the school run. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Giving other mothers nicknames. Ugly babies, mum. And when she turns around, we all go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give her one, mum. I made that one up, to be fair. And then I found out my name. My name's uh, Creepy Dad. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll tell you about Nicole, actually. I'll tell you about, I'll tell you about my kids, but I want to tell you about Nicole because she's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the others. They'll get mad. They'll get mad. Yeah, Nina. <laughs> Nicole's 27. I remember when she was younger, it was quite a difficult age. When she was about nearly 16, it's quite a difficult age because she was growing up quick and I'm a bit of a dickhead, so... <laughs> It, you know, I'm not having been there with, with a with a girl before in, in, a, in a relationship with a daughter type thing, you know. And, um, you know, because I've, I've had women, you know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, it was getting a bit a bit rum, but um, it's more, I'll tell you what, it's more, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example of what it was like. Every single day until she was 16, she'd come up to me and she'd go, Dad, I love you. That's lovely, lovely. And I'd go, I love you too. <laughs> Then she goes, no, Dad, I really love you. And I go, I really love you as well. Now, when your kids say that when they're older, it's even better than when they say it when they're younger and they have to say it to get fed. <laughs> <laughs> when they say it when they're older, it just fills you up with pride. Dad, I love you. <laughs> just, it just makes you feel really good, you know. Then she say things like, Dad, let's go down to the shops and get a DVD and a big box of Maltesers We'll come home together, Dad, me and you, Dad. We'll sit on the sofa together, Dad, me and you, Dad. And we'll watch a DVD together, Dad. Because I love you, Dad. I love you. <laughs> Best feeling in the world. I love you. Brilliant. The day after, my 16th birthday, I don't know where she'd been, sisters. She'd come in. She walks up to me. Don't, like I said, don't, I haven't got a clue where she went. She walked in. I went, hi darling, you all right? And she changed. The day after her 16th birthday, she looked me right in the eye and she went, mm. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> Now my, my, my youngest lad at the time was nine and he's from Manchester. So I went, what's, up, what, what's going on? What's on to your sister? And he went, mm. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> I panicked that much, I even talked to the dog. The dog was next to me. <laughs> I went to the dog, what's going on? What's happened to me, princess? What's happened to her? The dog went. I don't know. <laughs> what? what do you mean you don't know? Just have a guess. Oh, 
How do you know that? Well, the thing is, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of daytime telly. <laughs> and what I found out is, is that if one day you wanted to come back, first of all, you've got to let her go. <laughs> good advice, sir. Yes, you're all young ladies. Aren't you? That's great. You think that's good advice? Yeah. Yeah. But, at the end of the day, it's a dog. <laughs> Two minutes before he gave me that advice, he was trying to lick his own dick. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I can't take anybody serious that tries to wipe their ass, dragging it along a carpet. <laughs> it's not happening. not happening. And I'll tell you something else, sisters, right, that happened after that day. I've got these... I've Bumfluff, goatee bearded scrotes, scally little, uh, yeah. knocking on my door for my princess. This is like the day after the 16th birthday. I've got these scally dickheads walking up. This one come up my path, knocks on the door because he had a PA and a mic. <laughs> he knocks on the door and he went, All right, Mr. Roberts. <laughs> Is she in? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's in, dickhead. Yeah, she's in. She's in for the next 32 years. She's in. Don't you worry. <laughs> was that depressed a few days later? I was watching telly with a dog, like you do. X Factor. And I turned to the dog and I went, Who are you texting? <laughs> huh? No, no one. <laughs> I saw the light on the phone. Who are you texting? They're going to start that chair challenge in a minute. What? No, I just check message. What? Right, listen. You're kidding, no one. I can see the situation with a scaly dickhead. It's eating up inside you. You've got to deal with it. So next time the scaly little dickhead comes round, when he knocks on the door, open the door, look him right in the eye, and do your Robert De Niro face. <laughs> but whatever you do, don't do the voice. No, because the dog knew at the time, the only voice I could do that was any good was Ashley of Coronation Street. <laughs> And you're that young, you won't even remember him, but he was a butcher. You remember him, yeah? Yeah. So anyway, a couple of days later, I'm watching telly with a dog, and the dog goes. He's here. What? He's here. He's here. And sure enough, an hour and a half later, it's a good dog. <laughs> the scally come down the path. <laughs> Whoa. The dog goes, No, do De Niro. Don't do the voice. I went to the door. He's even got his hand in the letterbox like this, winding me up. <laughs> What's the door? <laughs> I opened the door and like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Then I did it, I did it. I went. <laughs> the skelly shits himself, right? His song actually stops in mid-flight like that. Then I messed it up big time. I looked him right in the eye and I went. <laughs> I'll flip in that Uncle Fred. <laughs> I turned around the dogs like that. No bed. <laughs> anyway, my name's Smug Roberts. Thanks a lot. God bless. Thank you.